Importing and exporting data in Masterpiece Manager version 11. I'm going to start with a brand new profile that does not currently have any data in it yet. As you can see here, Masterpiece does include a few select non-stock inventory items that are commonly used in transactions. Feel free to delete them right off the bat if you don't think you're going to need them or use them. Being a brand new profile, I can illustrate better the way imports work, but you can certainly import data in existing profiles also. And I'll touch a little bit on that in this video. So let's get started. If you're importing for the first time, I would strongly suggest importing context first. So let's go to the contact module by clicking on the context menu on the left and then going to the list view. Next, click on the import button in the top right. Doing so will open this window. There are basically three steps in importing. First is to find the Excel or CSV file that you're going to import. It is helpful if you use one of our templates as a guide on how to format your files. You can get this template by clicking on the link here and then go ahead and open it or save it and then open it depending on what browser you're using. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and save it and then open it. So the two most important things to note on these templates are the columns that are available for to use and the names of the column. It's typically best if you use the same column names that you find in the actual template. Okay, so let me close this now and then let's go ahead and start the upload. First thing to do is to click on the choose file button, find the file you're uploading, and select it. Then click the upload button. Masterpiece would do what's best to match up the appropriate target field to the source data. The source data as shown on the left here is the data from your file. You just have to make sure it matches up appropriately to the Masterpiece field on the right. To match up the fields, just use the dropdown in the appropriate fields. All fields that can be used are in the dropdown. And if all your contacts that you're importing are specifically customers or artists, you can use one of these checkboxes and Masterpiece will assign all of those contacts as a customer or an artist or a vendor. When you're done matching the fields, press the view list button. This gives you the opportunity to view the list as it will look in Masterpiece before importing. In other words, do a spot check to make sure all the data is matching up as it should and the data that is showing is in the right columns. CSV files are notorious for creating extra breaks that could cause a mismatch of the data. Excel files are usually more reliable. Once you verify all the data looks good, just press the import list button and the contacts are now imported. I'm now going to do the same process for my inventory data. So I'm going to go to inventory and then item list. Then the import button is the uh, same place in the item list. I'm just going to click on that, choose file. Hit the upload button. Just going to do a quick spot check. Looks like most of the fields automatically matched up. Looks good. Okay, next step is I'm going to do view list. Do another spot check of the data, make sure it's in the right columns. Perfect. And then import list. So now my inventory is imported. A common scenario when importing inventory in already established profiles is that you may need to match the inventory record to a contact that is already in the system. So Masterpiece would need a way to link the inventory to the contact. So that is what the contact ID is used for. Yeah, it's called eye contact on this screen here. So basically we have to use a contact ID because using the name is too common. For example, there may be many Bob Smiths in your data and they are all different people. So if you didn't initially import a contact ID, you'll want to get it in Masterpiece from the contact screen and use it on your new inventory file before uploading. And here's the inventory record. So you can see here that I have a vendor ID and an artist ID. Typically, if the vendor and ID are the, I mean the, uh, the vendor and the artist are the same person, then the uh, vendor and the artist ID will be the same. Uh, but that won't necessarily always be the case. Okay, so now that you have importing down pat, let's look at exporting. So I'm gonna go back to the contact list here. And the export button is in the top right next to the import button. Once you press it, you'll have uh, some options on what criteria you want to export and what columns you want included. For example, let's say you want to export a list of your customers only from New York. So you'll put New York in the state field and then use this drop down here to select just customers. And then on the left, you'll just click the columns that you want on the export or just click on this top left box to select them all or deselect them all. Um, and of course, you can also use Excel to further delete any columns you may not want later. So you might want to just select them all now and then delete them later. 
And alternatively, you can also use the advanced search box on this screen here to filter. Let's say uh, I'm going to put in. So once you uh, whittle your list down on this screen, you can also do an export search, which will just export only your search results. Um, just a note that exporting this way uh, does limit some of the columns on the file. So you may want to export uh, using the other search advanced feature and then um, uh, delete any fields that you don't need in Excel. And basically it's the same way with inventory. So you go to the inventory and just hit the export button. And that's the gist of uh, importing and exporting in Masterpiece.